medieval cathedrals of England, with their architecture, their monuments, their fittings, their music and their rituals, are the greatest works of art that Britain has ever produced. Conceived and constructed hundreds of years ago, the buildings alone stand as awe-inspiring witness to the convictions and aspirations of a time past. They embody in stone and wood and glass the history of their times. The cathedrals of this video show one that was founded in 676 and one that contains a stained glass window that was dedicated by Diana, Princess of Wales, in the late 20th century. At most of England's medieval cathedrals, the earliest parts of the existent structure date from shortly after the Norman invasion. One of the ways that the Normans imposed their rule was to install Norman bishops, and each one wanted a cathedral grander than the last. But every cathedral grew and changed as the years went by. Many of the cathedrals are half Norman and half Gothic. In some cases, the cathedral has suffered radical demolition, either by the forces of nature or the vagaries of politics. In several such cases, we have cathedrals that were partly reconstructed during the Victorian era with varying degrees of competence and sensibility. Not all of these cathedrals started out as cathedrals. A number were abbey churches which became cathedrals in the 1530s under Henry VIII. Still more were ancient abbeys that were used as parish churches until they became cathedrals for the growing 19th century population. The buildings here are those that comply with the architectural form of a medieval cathedral. They have, or once had, imposing west fronts, transepts, central towers and extended eastern ends. The cathedrals here are not the grandest and most imposing in England, and some are not even complete, but every one of them contains architectural features or furnishings that are superb examples of the medieval era. From the exquisite vaults of Bristol, the carvings of Southall and the tracery at Carlisle, to the unique arcading at Hereford and the splendid tower of Roman brick at St Albans. I hope that this video will inspire others to visit these fascinating places and enjoy them as I do.